For a hundred years, Canadian kids have been drawn to scouting. To do my duty to God the Queen. But Scouts has known for decades it was also a draw for pedophiles. It kept a confidential list of men it kicked out for abusing boys. The list was intended to make sure they couldn't reapply. The Americans kept a system called the perversion files. The number of boys that these leaders have, you know, abused is appalling. Tom Stewart is talking about what was found on the list in the United States kept by the Boy Scouts of America. His suit against them for the abuse he suffered revealed thousands of names of abusers. And his lawyer, Tim Kosnoff, says it revealed something else. But the Boy Scouts routinely did not notify the police uh, when they became aware. In several statements to the Fifth Estate, Scouts Canada reiterated its policy in this country is to immediately notify both the police and child protection services and insisted that's been the case as far back as we can determine. Which doesn't explain what happened with Richard Turley. The Fifth Estate found the Canadian Scout leader's name in the American files. He was kicked out of Boy Scouts of America in 1979 after admitting to abusing boys in California. The file shows the Americans didn't go to police. Instead, Turley came right back to Canada and to Scouts, where he found more victims, one of whom was Jason Davies. We showed him the American file written before he was abused. Yeah, it would never would have happened. Uh, that pisses me off. In fact, it wasn't until 10 years after Richard Turley was finally kicked out of Scouts Canada that police in this country caught up with him. In 1996, he was convicted of abusing four Canadian boys. The Fifth Estate has found no evidence Scouts Canada went to police with concerns when they kicked him out. Rob Talek is an Ontario lawyer who battled the Catholic Church over its handling of abuse allegations. He says Scouts Canada needs to go back and scan its files for any information that may not have been shared with police. He says even old information is still critical today. If you had someone who was caught a, a couple decades ago in their 20s or 30s as a perpetrator, professionals who are aware of the patterns of perpetrators will tell you that that sex offender, that child molester, is likely still active today. 